I was really moved by your Tiger Woods piece yesterday on ESPN. Obviously, we're all sitting here wondering uh, the accident happened sheer miles from our studio here in El Segundo. Mm. And we're all wondering um, what's next for Tiger Woods. But your your piece, as always, was just beautifully written. And I'm curious to hear about your... Oh, you're welcome. I'm here I'm curious to hear your thoughts on on this as you watch and and what occurs to you. Well, you know, I think it's um it's the way most people feel, right? The, the way the vast majority of people looking at this must feel that uh he's fortunate to be alive emerging from that kind of a wreck, that kind of a crash. Um that our first thought has to be about um being able to lead a normal life, to be healthy and to walk and to do the things that he was able to do before this happened uh, on Tuesday morning. Uh, and then you think about the scope of his career and the arc of his life over the last 25 years. And, and you think about how long he has been a presence in our lives and how we've seen these remarkable ups, uh, these, these incredible highs, peaks, in an athletic career that are unsurpassed, really, uh, certainly in the 21st century, in the late 20th century. Um, uh, you know, one of, one of the few athletes, you know, when you throw around the word icon, it, it's, it's, it's understatement with, with Tiger Woods. Um, and then we've also seen, you know, his struggles and, and um, the events of Thanksgiving weekend 2009 and how um, that changed the narrative around Tiger Woods. It, in a flash, in a moment, and this this sudden fall from grace. And then um, the physical struggles that would come later with his back and uh, the times when it seemed like he would never really be able to uh, be Tiger Woods on the golf course again in that remarkable victory two years ago at the Masters after an 11-year interval between his 14th and his 15th Grand Slam wins, uh, major titles, um, you know, it's it's a remarkable, um, novelistic story and life, but there's a person at the center of it. And, and, and you know, it was when I heard the news a couple of days ago, um, Susie, at about, I guess it was around a little before three o'clock Eastern time. Um, you know, by that time, I, what I was being told, and I think everybody was hearing, was that these were not life threatening. And so, you know, there's immediately. Um, relief there, and you know, you know, you can take a breath. Okay, he, he's he's going to be okay. He's going to live, and but this is these are very serious injuries from you know what we're hearing and the doctors you know we've been consulting, and um, we don't know if he's ever going to be able to play golf again. And, and and of course that's secondary to the larger story, but I'm also thinking about. Two months ago, when he played at the PNC Championship with Charlie, and um, that that kind of image that sticks in my mind now of Tiger Woods, um, while seeming seeming comfortable in a way, you know, on camera and with the media and and kidding around and having fun with his 11 year old son, and how we were seeing uh, a new side of Tiger. He was allowing us to see a different side of himself, and. Um, that relationship with the media that had been at times so adversarial and, uh, you know, obviously, you know, four years ago, we're talking about, um, you know, those images of him getting pulled over or asleep on the side of the road, uh, you know, uh, and the, the things that he has had to deal with and the mistakes that he has made. And then, um, the physical challenges, it's just, there's so much there, and all we can hope for, uh, it, it, it's trite, but what could be more um, essential, that he's just okay. Uh, I can't say enough about that and about the fact that I look at the pictures of him with Charlie and all I think about are Kobe and Gianna. So we are, as you said, so, so grateful that he will come out of this and yeah. hopefully make some kind of recovery. Yeah. And, Jer- and you think about Ben Hogan too, right? I mean, you think about... Um, you know, the car accident, the crash that Ben Hogan was in in 1949. And, you know, he, he was a younger man at that point than Tiger Woods is now. I think Hogan was 35 at the time of that crash in West Texas, um, which left him in the hospital, I think, for 59 days. You know, it's a different scenario, but when you're talking about two of the five or six greatest golfers of all time, 
maybe two of the three greatest golfers of all time, um, both having, uh, both surviving crashes like that, you know, you have to draw parallels.